Good morning, everybody. Well, I had one of the viewers ask me if I'd do some videos about <laughs> vegetables in the garden. Well, I guess that was a fairly reasonable <laughs> request on a gardening channel. I haven't done too much of that lately, have I? Okay, well, this morning, it's all about carrots. I need carrots in the kitchen. Um, now, if you're grow if you're on lava here, <laughs> and if I, you're going to need some kind of artificial soil media and containers or something to do carrots because they're, you know, carrots. But uh, if you have soil here, they're easy. Um, I mean, there are always problems. Uh, the slugs can eat the crowns. I've seen that. I have one down here right now that was consumed. Um, the thrips will destroy the tiny seedlings before they get going. And there's also some kind of a critter that will burrow into the carrot and cause uh, brown rusty patches in the flesh. Uh, it's not too numerous. I would say the thrip is the biggest problem on young seedling carrots. I sprayed mine twice with spinosad bacteria uh, this morning to keep that from happening. Well, let's have a look at what's going on down here. Well, uh, the peppers are right here and the squash is behind them. Uh, and then there's crabgrass growing everywhere in this too, as you can see. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of weeding, but uh, carrots are right here. So I'm going to put the spading fork in right next to them like this. Point it straight downward into the earth rather than into the carrot. Push downward and apply some upward pressure. Grab hold of the carrot. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yes! Success! Ain't it a beauty, huh? Well, there you go. You folks who live on lava, well, <laughs> go ahead and feel jealous this morning. But you can do the same thing if you make some sort of an artificial soil media. Carrots grow very well here, and I can see that, uh, well, the only damage, I had one carrot that had uh, split at the crown and a slug had gone down and started chewing it out of the ground. Other than that, they look pretty good, don't they? So, here you can see we have just a absolutely lovely harvest of, uh, of these carrots here. Yeah, they're beautiful. Very nice carrots. Um, and also, nice to see. Look at the tops on these babies. All right, now, we don't eat carrot tops, but a carrot with a really strong top like this Oh, so much easier to get it up out of the ground. A lot of the carrots, you know, like the nantes, which are blunt on both ends, a lot of the nantes really have pretty weak tops, and if you try yanking on them, they don't come up. Well, our soil here has pretty good suction to it. Uh, it's deep, and the carrots can really embed themselves. Uh, and so having a nice, strong top like this is really a bonus point. Uh, this carrot is from Johnny Selected Seeds. I do a lot of business with them. It is Caravel, uh, C-A-R-V-E-L, uh, Caravel. Um, uh, it, it was pelletized seed. And if you don't know what that means, the seeds were rolled in like little balls of clay or something. So each seed was then enlarged and uniform size. So if you have a cedar, it will go through the cedar very nicely. Otherwise, if you're doing it by hand, it's 
easier to use pelletized seed. It's a little more expensive, but it's easier. Oh, I see that we got uh, uh, my Gray supervisor is showing up here this morning, right, Gracie? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Am I doing okay with the video? Ah. What do you think about carrots? You don't, huh? The greens. Yeah, Gracie is definitely a greens cat. I catch her eating greens all the time. Usually her favorites are uh, uh, crabgrass, smooth crabgrass. Yeah, but she, she chews crabgrass all the time. All right, girl, let's go uh, edit a video, huh? What do you think? People been complaining. I, uh, they're saying uh, there's not enough cats in the videos. There's not enough vegetables in the videos. And I also heard uh, people saying, how about some of your strange stories, Bill? Yeah, I think I got a few. Okay, so me and Gracie are going to go wrap this one up.